Fox News Flash Top Entertainment and Celebrity Headlines are here. Live from New York, it's Taylor Swift. On Thursday, Saturday Night Live released its first promo for the star's musical guest appearance this weekend. The video began with host Jonathan Majors introducing the 31 year old. Hi, I'm Jonathan Majors, and I'm hosting SNL with musical guest Taylor Swift, said the 32 year old. And he'll also be singing one song from A Yet to B released album, chimed 80 Broad. Taylor Swift bumps up re release of album Red. Fans react, this is not a drill I will also be doing. A song from an album I haven't written yet, Bo and Yang added. He'll also be doing music if there is time, Swift replied. The promo ended with the quartet reciting Major's opening line together. They then cheer as Bryant joked it took seven takes for everyone to master the routine. The singer's appearance on SNL will come one day after dropping Red, Taylor's version. It is the second album she re, recorded after releasing Fearless, Taylor's version, in April. Click here to sign up for the entertainment newsletter. The singer's appearance on SNL will come one day after dropping Red, Taylor's version. It is the second album she re recorded after releasing Fearless, Taylor's version, in April. Photo by Nikki Low slash Taz slash Getty Images. For Taz, Swift's decision to re record her first six albums followed Scooter Braun's purchase of her former record label Big Machine. That allowed him to take control of the masters of those albums. The record executive and manager sold the Masters for $300 million to Shamrock Holdings in November 2020. After the purchase, the private equity company reached out to work with Swift. However, she declined as Bronze Ithaca Holdings would still profit off her old music. In September, Swift teased she was releasing her rendition of Red. In June, Braun gave Variety his perspective on his public battle with Swift over ownership of her older albums and master recordings. Click here to get the Fox News app Taylor Swift and Scooter Braun have been battling over the sale of her master recordings. AP, I regret and it makes me sad that Taylor had that reaction to the deal, he told the outlet. All of what happened has been very confusing and not based on anything factual. I don't know what story she was told. I asked for her to sit down with me several times, but she refused. I offered to sell her the catalog back and went under NDA but her team refused. It all seems very unfortunate. Open communication is important and can lead to understanding. She and I only met briefly three or four times in the past, and all our interactions were really friendly and kind. I find her to be an incredibly talented artist and wish her nothing but the best, Braun added. Fox News' Jessica Napoli contributed to this report.